Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, it is me, Xander. Today I want to talk to you about the male sex drive. Hot me, fuck me. So what we know from the media, from film, from TV, is that men want sex constantly and any other kind of narrative isn't generally publicised. So for a man to have a low libido or altogether no libido, it's kind of a taboo subject that isn't really mentioned, but the cause of this problem is men themselves. We are to blame for not talking about our own issues. So here we have this dude, this man right here, standing up and saying, I've been suffering with a low libido for about two years now. So what does a low libido mean? First things first, a low libido and erectile dysfunction are not the same thing. Erectile dysfunction is the inability to have an erection, whilst the drive for sex, the need and the desire might still be there and a low libido, you might still be able to get an erection, but you don't have the drive or the need to have sex. They're two very different things, but they are interlinked. Sometimes erectile dysfunction can lead to a loss of libido because of the increased pressure for a man to perform, and sometimes a loss of libido can lead to erectile dysfunction because if you're trying to have sex and you don't want to have sex, sometimes you don't get an erection. The reason why this is such a problem for men is because masculinity is so closely linked to sex drive that we kind of believe that to be masculine is to have a high sex drive and to have a high sex drive is to be masculine. So when your sex drive might be compromised, then it might feel like you're compromising your masculinity. Loss of libido can be brought on from lots of different things. It can be physical, it can be mental, it can be social, whatever. For me personally, I've spoken out before about how I suffer with depression and anxiety. When I'm in my down times, my libido is flat out gone altogether. On the flip side to this, the treatment for depression, as well as lots of different types of therapies, antidepressants can cause a loss of libido themselves. So SSRI, selective serotonin reuptake inhibitors, one of the most common side effects is a reduced or loss of libido. So I recently switched that pill to mirtazapine. This pill supposedly doesn't have a side effect of a reduced libido. I've been on this new pill for about three months now and you know I magically expected my libido to just go straight back up and go through the roof but um no. That isn't the case at all. In the last few years, it's really been reduced or gone altogether at one time or another. So over the past few months, I've been seeing a psychosexual therapist to deal with some of the issues that I have around sex, whether it be from past trauma or kind of present pressures, delving right deep into that noggin here. So one of the issues that I found kept coming up constantly is me and a lot of other gay men are kind of constantly using Grindr. Grindr creates this internal pressure because you're surrounded by profile after profile that says sex now, sex, 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 horny, fun, fuck me, whatever it might be. And being surrounded by that constant kind of atmosphere creates this environment where you feel like you should be like all of those things. And because you're not feeling the same way, you feel abnormal. And, and then you feel this pressure to, to feel the same way as everyone else. Feel like you need to perform and respond in the same way as everyone else. And because I'm putting that kind of pressure on myself and then stressing out more and getting more upset about the fact that I don't have a sex drive right now, and it just makes things worse. It's not gonna make my sex drive magically come back if I'm kind of forcing myself to try and want it. The other thing that can play a big part in your libido is past trauma. So if you've suffered sexual abuse, sexual harassment, any kind of pressure to have sex or any kind of negative connotations towards sex that you've had in your past, Although you may not feel like they're being an issue to you now, one thing that I learned from seeing my psychosexual therapist was that I'd buried a lot of the way that I was feeling and I hadn't processed it and hadn't dealt with it such that it was still there, it was still like in the back, in the bottom of my mind, but because I'd never really come to terms with those issues and never really dealt with them, they were still affecting me in the present day. So where am I at now? I've finished my psychosexual therapy, I've switched pills, I'm in a relatively happy place and I still don't feel this sex drive. But you know what? Now I'm okay with it. Whereas to before I felt like I had to want sex and the fact that I didn't want sex was completely abnormal and I was this crazy, broken man. Now I just don't care. If I want to have sex one day, I'll have sex. If I feel like it tomorrow, I'll do it. But the fact that I don't want it right here, right now, let's be at peace with that. Let's just namaste that away. The reason I wanted to make this video is because I think it's just something that isn't talked about enough and men are often too embarrassed to talk about it because we're expected to have this high sex drive all the time and when you don't, it can feel very emasculating. 
So if you're a guy out there that's dealing with a low or loss of sex drive, don't worry about it. Chill out about it. Creating that internal pressure on yourself is only going to make you feel worse. And you don't need it. There are plenty of resources out there. You can go talk to your GP about it. They can refer you to a specialist if they feel it's appropriate. Thank you so much for watching this video all about my reduced libido. Please go ahead and like, comment, share, and subscribe. I would love to hear some similar stories, whether it be man, woman, gay, straight, whatever. It's something that everyone can suffer from, and it's an issue that a lot of people are embarrassed to talk about. But it would be really nice to see the taboo removed from talking about a low sex drive because it isn't something to be embarrassed about and it is something that happens to a lot of people. You can also find me on Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, Facebook, wherever. I am all over the place. I will see you again soon. Goodbye. Reduce libido. Re reduce libido. <laughs>